Alright, this video I want to speak about the downfalls of the Power Twister. And it's a clear downfall. And this is something that I'll illustrate through this video and make it clear to you the problem with it. Is that you see that the Power Twister is a spring. And this spring is not a reliable consistency. So meaning, say you do 50 today, tomorrow you do 60, and then you think you got stronger. But in actuality, you might not have gotten stronger, it's just that this spring got weaker. And that's why you're able to do more. So, there's no consistency to it. So meaning, if you get an Olympic barbell, it's 45, pound, it's 45 pounds and that's consistent. It's consistent throughout, it's 45 pounds. So if you do 10 reps today, you do 20 tomorrow, you clearly know that you got stronger because it's consistency to it. It's not like the bar, um, instead of being 45, it all of a sudden became 30 in the next day. There's consistency to it, and then you know whether or not you get stronger. Same thing with the pull-up. There's consistency. It's just the bar. You put your chin over the bar. You do 10 today, you do, and you do fit 20 tomorrow. You clearly got stronger as long as you maintain the same form. But with this, there's no consistency. You know, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Because the spring is going to get weakened down. Alright, and the way that I'm going to demonstrate this is this is uh, the one that I've been using. And you see how easily it flexes when I go like this. And you hear that noise that it's making. Alright, so this is the one that I've been using. I just got this other one in the mail today. This is a brand new one. And you'll see the difference. It's the same brand. But look. It doesn't flex as easy. See that? It does not flex as easy. Okay? When I do a rep with this, it's clearly a lot harder. This is the brand new one. This is the old one. It's clearly a lot harder than with the old one. It is clear. You see right here? I come from here. Right? This is the new the old one. This is the new one. Watch. Okay, so the downfall is it. The downfall is that there is no consistency. But it doesn't mean that the power twister game has to end there. And another thing that's a fact is that different companies make the power twister, and because it's made by a different company, they got different resistance levels and all the other stuff. There's all these variables that come to play that make it hard to, in a way, um, gauge yourself where you're at compa in comparison to other people. Because they got different power twisters by different companies, different strength levels, and all this other mumbo jumbo. But for as far as FMK is concerned, and the Kuhn, and the Kuhn records, if we all use the same power twister, I use this one, and you use this exact same one, and that's where the consistency will come into play. Okay, because we all are using the same power twister. This power twister may be getting weaker, or whatever, but the fact of us using the same one, the exact same one, provides that consistency. Okay, so meaning, say you want to see who could do the most, and you do it today, the other person does it tomorrow, and you could do the day after, or whatever. Either way, if somebody uses the same one, somebody does 50, and if somebody else does 100, clearly the person that did 100 is capable of doing more. But really, it's not even about other people. It's just about yourself and where you could get to. So, it's just a fun little way just to do more. You know, see if you can do more. Even though it is getting a little more flexible and it seems to be a little easier, you can still aim to do more.
and that's it. But clearly, um, sometimes the fact that may be you're not getting stronger, but this is just the 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 um the metal is just getting more flexible and it's just easier, point blank. All right, so I'm just showing you something and clearly stating the downfall of it. All right, another factor is that you may not, depending on your weight size, if somebody weighs 100 pounds, it's gonna be a, hard, a lot harder to do this than somebody that weighs 200 pounds. So I see that weight plays a contributing factor as well. And because this is just one object that is not based on weight, um, that's another factor that is not demonstrating pound for pound um, the most strength. Because if you weigh more, typically you should be stronger and this should be easier for you. Okay, So that's another factor as well. So I just wanted to share that so then you know um, what to be aware of when you do use this as a training tool.